I'm going to handle this. If A is equal to 2, M is equal to 26, Z is equal to 52, what is B E D? So B E D is equal to how much? So options given are A is 44, B is 54, C is 64, D is 52. See now what you understand here is, why should A be given to? So the corresponding alphabet numbers, the corresponding alphabet numbers are being doubled. See A corresponding alphabet, right, alphabet numbers A is 1, B is 2, like that you keep on running, M will be 13 and Z is 26. So here 1 is given as 2 means this is getting multiplied by 2. So I already ensure that the same thing is happening for M. So M is 13 and 2 is 26 and Z is 26 and 2 is 52. So what you will do is, so they have asked what is BET. So B corresponding alphabet number is 2. So B will be 2 into 2, 4. B will be 2 into 2, 4. Similarly E will be 5 into 2, 10. And T will be 20 into 2, 40. So what you have to do is, here B, T, you can multiply 14 because you are not sure what is happening here. It is 40 into 10 into 4 is possible. But when you do 40 into 10 into 4, it will be 1600 which is not there in the options. Which is not there in the options. So the other way of understanding it is, it could be sum to 40 plus 10 plus 4 is 54. When I add all this, this is 54. This is the way of doing it. You can't restrict only one way. You cannot say that I am going to only multiply, I am not getting the answer. Because the options are given, the questions have been set. So they will expect you to do like this. And now, some of you might not be knowing the alphabet numbers. So what I will be doing is, you will be writing all the alphabets here. And then writing the corresponding alphabet numbers. Then multiplying it. Which will be taking a lot of time. So try to avoid doing all those things. Remember some of the alphabet numbers. The one thing I can easily tell is, remember only this four alphabets, E, J, O and T. So E corresponding alphabet number is 5, J is 10, O is 15 and T is 20. This is very easy to remember, 5, 10, 15, 20. Now supposing I want to find out what is U, so T plus 1 will be 21. Supposing I want to find out what is S, T minus 1 will be 19. Supposing I want to find out what is M, so O is 15 minus 2 will be 13 or J plus 3 will be 13. So the maximum I do is only add plus 2 or minus 2. So try to save time. Try to remember some of the alphabets. The other way of doing it is remember your own alphabet uh, names, first alphabet number, father's name, first order number. So you can remember several more numbers, so you can do it faster. The essence is you will do your RAPT exam faster. Follow my website, follow my channel. Uh, I will be adding lots of questions. I have also added lots of questions in my website. Keep on practicing. Wish you all the best.